For this tutorial, you're going to need some scissors, tailor chalk, a t-shirt, or a dress. I'm just taking my shirt and placing the sleeves in the inside. And then I'm going to fold it in half and pin it along the edge. I'm going to take my shirt and place it on the fold of my fabric, tracing all the way around with a tailor chalk, adding a half inch seam allowance. So if you're using a shirt, you can decide how long you want your dress to be by adding additional inches at the bottom. Once you have traced everything out, you just want to cut all the way around. Once you cut out the first piece, you want to take that piece and place it on the fold of your fabric to cut an additional piece. Now for my sleeves, I'm just taking it out and placing it on the fold of my fabric. And you want to make sure that it's aligned on the edge and that you're tracing all the way around adding seam allowance. You want to make sure you follow the seams on your sleeves. And once you cut it out, it should look like this. You fold it in half and pin along the edge for both sleeve piece. For my dress, I'm placing right sides together and then I'm going to pin along the shoulder seams and side seams. Once you're done pinning, you want to sew on the shoulder seams and the side seams as well as the side of the sleeves. Once you sewed your dress, it should look like this. Now it's time to pin our sleeves. So for the sleeves, I take the seam of the sleeves as well as the seam of the dress and align them together and pin it in place. This is so that your seams are matching together. Then I turn it in the inside and take my sleeves and pin it all along the edge. Once that is done, you want to sew all the way around for your sleeve. Once you're done sewing, your sleeve should look like this. Now it's time to hem. For the neckline, you just want to fold in twice and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. For your sleeves, you just want to fold in twice and stitch with the half inch seam allowance. And you want to do the same for the bottom of your dress. Fold in twice and sew with a half inch seam allowance. 
Once you have sewed, it should look like this with a slight zigzag stitch. This ensures that your stitches does not break. Now for the slit, I'm just going to take my ruler and measure how long I want the slit to be. I'm making it about 7.5 to 8 inches. Take my tailor chalk, mark it, and we're just going to cut along that line. Once you have cut it, you want to measure at the top for about a half inch to an inch. At the top, you're going to sew at an angle, kind of like a triangle. And once you reach where the slit, you're going to fold one side out and stitch on top and on the other side as well. Once you have did that, this is your final look. And this is what the stitch should look like with a straight stitch on the slit. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye!